time the truth of the saying they would sell their mothers for money dawned on me. We purchased whatever we required. When are you coming to Pakistan? His next step, to create fuel for a bomb. Khan needed to smuggle centrifuge parts out from the West. Khan's agents made contact with German businessman Gotthard Lurk. In this film, all dramatizations of members of the Khan network are based on intelligence reports and legal documents. These are the details of what we require. It should not be a problem. We supply this technology to many customers. And delivery? Will you have any problem with exporting these goods? No. This will not be an issue. You require no special permission from our government. Much nuclear technology is dual use, usable for peaceful purposes or for the bomb. A loophole Khan often exploited. Such deals were worth hundreds of thousands of dollars to Lurk's company. And with contacts all over Europe, Khan's bomb project rapidly accelerated. They were operating throughout Western Europe, to some degree in the Middle East. They had people all over the place. It involved a number of businessmen, friends of A.Q. Khan's from his days in Holland and Germany, and many, many others. You know, they would purchase things using um, false end users, um, multiple trans transshipment points to disguise the fact of the ultimate destination being Pakistan. Um, a very sophisticated operation. In the 1980s, the Dutch Secret Service launched an inquiry into Khan. His former colleagues at Urenko realized the enormity of his betrayal. He took the drawings of at least two designs of centrifuge from the Netherlands. He took them together with the lists of European suppliers who he knew then he could go back to and very quickly get the necessary raw materials, components and equipment. In 1983, the Dutch charged Khan with nuclear espionage. Khan protested his innocence to the press. It was the most concerted and vicious campaign ever launched against anybody since the Second World War. I was presented as a fanatic Muslim devil, a James Bond or a Dr. No or whatnot. The Dutch initiated a false and concocted case against me without my knowledge. The Dutch sentenced Khan to four years in jail. But in a curious turn of events, the legal papers were never served correctly and Khan was acquitted on a technicality. He continued to defy the West. Whatever we achieved at Kahuta is purely due to our own hard work. A hundred percent Pakistani effort. And no foreigner has helped us in any capacity. By 1985, Western intelligence already knew what Kahuta really was. A CIA report from that year has been recently declassified. Pakistan has had personnel and facilities dedicated to the pursuit of a nuclear weapons capability since 1971. These resources are involved in the design, fabrication, and testing of high explosives and nuclear weapons parts. The West pressured Pakistan to cease their nuclear program. Khan retaliated with a blunt letter to the German press. I would like to question this bloody holier-than-thou attitude of the Americans and the British. 
These bastards are the God-appointed guardians of the world to stockpile hundreds of thousands of nuclear warheads and have the God-given authority to carry out explosions every month. And if we, if we start a modest program, we are the Satans, the devils. Khan had thwarted European justice, but Western intelligence continued to follow him on his travels. One of his frequent destinations was particularly alarming. China. Salaam alaikum. Neha, neha. Very good to see you. What business did Agent Karim have with a communist superpower with the world's third largest nuclear arsenal? Conventional surveillance methods on Khan fail to provide enough details of his dealings with China. So the CIA mounted a bold operation, which they still refuse to discuss in detail. All I can say is that the Chinese provided an invaluable assistance to Pakistan's nuclear efforts. Okay, and I'd say the rest of it I can't go into because, you know, it's, it's, it's quite classified. They shadowed Khan on one of his frequent foreign trips and picked their moment. I had asked uh, someone to book me a plane ticket to Islamabad. Could you please find out if it has been done? The contents of Khan's briefcase confirmed that Khan had obtained the Chinese design for a nuclear warhead. They need your passport number, please? Yes. The CIA now knew the full significance of Khan's trips to China. Excuse me. Thank you. The nuclear weapons design which the Chinese provided Khan was vital because it was a tested design. It was a design that the Chinese had already found to be working and usable. And it was also a design for a bomb that could be fitted onto a missile and therefore could be delivered anywhere. Khan was also working on missiles, uh, as well as nuclear fuel, and now weapons design. So if you put that together, Khan really had everything you needed for a deliverable nuclear bomb. It was a major breakthrough for intelligence, but stopping Khan 